Hi, it's Pavel with another C++ homework. Uh, this is a modification from uh, an exercise I did before, from exercise 514. Uh, if you didn't watch it, maybe you could and should. Uh, we basically created, uh, back then, with, in this exercise 514, the previous one, we uh, had the user enter a bunch of names and then we determined which one was the first and last alphabetically. Now we will be getting those names from a text file. Uh, in other words, there's a text file with a bunch of names in it, and we will read that text file and determine which name is first and which is last alphabetically. All right, uh, so, you know, uh, so you know what the file is, there's a bunch of names in it. It's just a simple text file with a bunch of names, nothing special. Uh, you know, I have them all mixed up, so they're not in alphabetical order uh, at all. And uh, I am storing that uh, file with my uh, with my folder with the with the project right next to uh, you know where my main is uh, stored as well. So, uh, oops. All right, let's uh, let's get to do some coding. Obviously, we are working with files. Uh, we need some. Uh, uh, in input stream, so uh, we will include some libraries, include the f stream. We will be reading the file, and um, we will be uh, working with with a string. So I will include include a string library. All right, uh, so. I will uh, do our stream, if uh, stream, I'll call it input file, and uh, the string will be name. In other words, uh, every name from the file will be stored in the variable called name. Now the, uh, so let's the, uh, Let's do the. Let's open the file and read it. So input file. Dot open. And the file is called lineup. And since it's already in the root folder, I, I don't have to do any, you know, like finding the path or anything of it like that. This is simply, uh, like I said, it's right in the root folder, and it's called lineup. Txt. So this is my file. Uh, it should open it. And now, uh, well, at the end, we will close it. Uh, input file dot close. I'm just doing this so uh, I can test, test it and see if it's going to find a file. Yep, we really got no errors, no build errors at all. So it opened the file and then it closed the file. Okay, so we have the file open. Now we can uh, process it. Uh, we will loop while our input file and we, like I said we, we will store each line in our variable called name so as long as there is any input we will uh, keep looping now in order for us to determine you know to be able to compare those files uh, those names we need to store the very first name in that file because that will be the one we will start comparing every other uh, name with so i will create another variable called uh, another string variable called uh, temporary no actually not temporary but a uh, first name it will be the first name by the alphabet and string last name Th these are not a uh, first name and last name uh, like a of a person, but this is like a first name in alphabet. Actually, let me call it something else then. First alphabet uh, and last. Just so it's not confusing that, you know, I'm talking about first and last name of uh, the same person. All right, so, uh, and I will need a little counter now, which I will initialize to uh, let's say zero it doesn't matter what you initialize it to 
but it, uh, over here, when I start the loop, I need to capture the first name in that file. So, in order, in order uh, to do that, uh, I need something to, you know, determine whether it is the first uh, name in the file. And it will be the first name as long as counter equals zero. So, if our counter equals zero, that is our first name, we will assign our first alphabetical name to it, uh, to the uh, name, and our last will be name as well. Alright, so, uh, and after that, we will increase the counter to by one. In other words, this condition is going to be true only the very first time, with the very first name. After that, the counter will equal one, and this will be false, and it will be skipped with every other iteration of the while loop. So now we have the first, uh, like the initial uh, value for the first alphabetical name and last, and now we can do the comparison. So if uh, the name is less than uh, than uh, first. The first name, then we have a new uh, first name. So our first alphabetical name will equal the name. And uh, else, if the name is greater than our last alphabetical name, then we have a new last name, which would be last alphabetical name equals name. So at the end of the loop, well, after the, all the num of the, uh, after all the names are being read, our first name will hold our first alphabetical name will will hold the first name by the alphabet and last name by the alphabet. And now we can output them. So we close the file over here because we don't need to read anymore, and we can do a simple C out. Uh, first name by al alphabet is, and that's going to be our first name. I will do the end line and see out last name by alphabet is, and that's the last and end of line. So let's run it, let's see what we get. And it read the files, uh, it read the file, captured the names, and we got the output. First name by alphabet is Aaron, last name is Zorro. So if you look at the file, uh, the names that are in my file, Pavel, Peter, John, James, Miranda, Jennifer, Terence, Jane, Zorro, and Aaron. So you got uh, these two names at the end. It recognized that this is the last one and this is the first one. In alphabetical order, uh, so seems to be working. Now let's mix them up. Let's make uh, Zoro somewhere in the middle, and Aaron somewhere in the middle as well. Let's say uh, over here. I'll save the file, and uh, let's run it again. And it found the same uh, result. Let me build it again. Just and yeah, we got the same result. Now, if I, uh, let me, uh, let me just make sure that it works. Uh, I will remove Aaron. And over here, I will write Baron. <laughs> so Baron, Baron. So this would be our new first name. Let's see uh, if that's going to find it. And it did. First name by alphabet is Baron, last name is Zorro. So we have a working program. Uh, again, we read the file R line by line. Each line is a name. So we will store that name in a, a variable called input file. We have a counter that is used to determine whether it's the first uh, name. We initialize it to zero. Hey, you could initialize it to anything, let's say 50. 
and over here if I if the counter equals 50 you know it still would work just fine this is a here you go the number here is not important the important is that you have to change it at the end of, of this if statement so this condition is no longer true in this is condition is true only once and once one time only so when we find the first name we'll store uh, that name in both of our variables first and last like I said we increase the counter and we move to another another name in the file this is no longer true we go to else and we compare whether the name in that file is less than the uh, first alphabetical name which we stored over here if it is then we'll assign that name to it we'll, uh, because that we have a new uh, new first alphabetical name if it isn't we'll go to check if that maybe is a greater than our last alphabetical name if it is we have a new last alphabetical name if neither of this is true nothing happens this is uh, skipped and then it goes to the next name and keeps checking them uh, until it hits the uh, end of file and then we will display the result close the file and display the result okay so uh, Nothing too complicated, I hope. I hope it helps you, and I will see you next time. Take care.